Hello and welcome to The Slice. My name is Michael and you might be noticing a very similar guest. It's Tollis from last week. How are you, Tollis? You all right? Doing dandy. Good. Now, we didn't even scratch the surface last week, did we? Yeah, it's hardly burning even, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think having you back for another week to, to maybe talk about your video journey, what courses you've got, I think that would wrap you up quite well. How does that sound? Absolutely. Not a problem at all. Because it would be an injustice if we left it where we left it last week. So um, I'm going to set the 10-minute timer. You obviously know the rules of the show. Yep. Um, are you ready? Let's smash it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So your timer has started. So last week we finished talking about your course and what course yep. you've created. Do you want to talk to the audience about your course, what it is, how we can find it? Yeah, well, the best thing that you can do for starters is uh, you can go to my YouTube channel and just go to youtube.com forward slash Tolis Dokianos. I guess you'll have the information in the description box below. Yeah, it's all um, there. Just go to my YouTube channel and um, check out the Cinemaker videos. I'll probably have, by the time you see this, I'll probably have a video that actually explains a little bit more about my course itself. Uh, but if you want to be one of the first to find out about my course, what I would suggest you do is go to my website at www.apexvideomarketing.com and just send me an email through the Contact Us page and let me know that you want to be one of the first people to get in on the uh, Cinemaker course. So the course is all about... Um, teaching you how to be your own producer director for live streaming and recording video on a multi-camera format using nothing else than a iPhone, iPad, or even an iMac or a, Mac, a MacBook. It's uh, Apple-based technology and Cinemaker has done a wonderful job of making video easy, fast, and affordable, especially great for people who are just getting started with video especially great for small to small to medium sized businesses or bigger productions for businesses that do advertising or even shows for that matter. But here's the here's the kicker. You can actually compete with the big boys when you learn everything I have to teach you in this particular course. It's a no fuss. Um, it's a step by step driven uh, course that teaches you everything you need to know, no questions asked, so you can go ahead and start making your own productions. So it's, I'm very excited about this. The whole reason I put this thing together is because I want to help businesses and anyone who wants to make video during this lockdown situation that we're all in. I think it's hard, isn't it? Because obviously, you know, we are filmmakers, we go out, we yeah. produce content for clients, and we understand the importance of hiring a professional, but sometimes. Mm -hmm there does come a time when you can do it yourself. There is, There are two types of video content. There is your branded content, mm -hmm. and then there is your consistent everyday content where you're keeping people yeah. in the loop yeah. and having that video journey and being, you know, visible on social media. So, you know, what what will people walk away with this? What What will they be able to implement the moment they come out of your course? Well, the moment that you've gone through the whole course, and it's, it's quite simple and it's quite, they'll, they'll be able to do it quite quickly, actually. And mm -hmm. then once they've done that, they're able to take their videos and upload them directly to their social media, to their websites, um, or any other host for that matter. For example, if you're going to live stream video, which is dead easy, and believe it or not, live stream video can save you time and money. Yes. Um, because it's real, it's raw, it's on the spot. And yes, you may make mistakes, but you know what? We're all people. And at the end of the yeah. day, you shouldn't take yourself too seriously. Exactly. And once you've gotten over the hurdle of wondering or bothering with what people may think of you or whatever, you know, once you've gotten past through all that with live streaming, you can actually stream your videos through all the various social media platforms, or even if you have your own portal, you can do that as well. So you, it's, it's very exciting and uh, since we spoke last week, Michael, I'm very excited to say that there's a new product coming out. It's called Meeting Director. Okay. And Meeting Director is a simplified version of the Cinemaker tech or the app, which enables you to actually do multi-camera webinars or web conferences. Wow. Game. So you can, you Game and I, changer. as we're speaking now, um, once, once I've got it all set up correctly, you and I could actually have, have a multi-camera interview next time. Now, wouldn't wow. that be interesting? Just you're, short... you're definitely coming back for a third time then. <laughs> <laughs> I just invited myself if you had yeah. noticed. <laughs> 
Wow, no, that's good. And I, th- I can I can see the benefits from that as well. Um, so tell me a little bit more. So you've got the courses and obviously, mm-hmm. you know, you're, that keeps you busy as well. Yeah. Tell me more about the the value content on your YouTube. What 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 predominantly do you upload on your YouTube and what will people learn when they hit your account? Well, what I've done, I've um, I've recently launched my own my own YouTube channel, Toldos Tokianos. So it's youtube.com forward slash Toldos Tokianos. And um, the, the content that I produce is in essence, um, how to videos for people that want to learn how to use YouTube. But what I'm doing is I'm taking it one step further by actually showing people more in depth stuff about YouTube. For example, um, my spin is very multinational. I speak several languages. I speak eight languages, in fact. And so what I wanna be able to do is start off with my English content and provide value to people, international audiences, Mm -hmm. by showing them how to internationalize their video content. The reason being, only 20% of the global population speak English. And of those 20%, not everyone is a native speaker. So there's huge market opportunity for you to create content in not other languages necessarily, but content for a multilingual community. I get you. And uh, we can talk about that strategy in another episode. But the most important thing that I want to do here is create video content that adds value to people who want to learn how to do video right. Hence my, my uh, positioning statement and or slogan, if you will. So um, it'll, it'll involve um, things like how to do videos with Cinemaker. It'll involve how to do anything that is relevant to building an international audience. And then there'll be a lot of other how-to things on, on my channel on how to even make money with video, how to make money with YouTube, how to make money with Facebook. And just kind of throw in a few of my expert tips that I would typically uh, reserve for uh, my paying clients but I'll throw in some some little golden nuggets or goodies um, just to kind we of all like goodies. Yeah, just just to kind of give viewers a level up on things that take them that one little step further than the common videos that you actually see on YouTube these days. If you are interested in in video marketing or how to how to make YouTube videos. And and do you know what? Video is so important. I mean, we've been talking about this in our industry for many years, the importance Mm. of video. But I'm noticing now so many people can make video. I think it's very hard to actually stand out with video. So, you know, what you're offering is something where people can actually, yes, they've got the camera phones. Yes, they know how to press record. But by actually taking it to that next level, they're actually creating engaging content. Mm. So then they're actually being seen, aren't they? Yeah, and and the important thing to mention here, Michael, is the level of video quality is getting better every single day Mm -hmm. on YouTube. Um, The important thing to remember, especially for people beginning with video, you don't need to go after a Bollywood or Hollywood production. You're you're Mm -hmm. trying to be real. And the most important thing that I can say is make sure you got great audio. And secondly, make sure that the content that you're creating is actually solving a problem for your viewers. I couldn't say it any simpler. Um, If, for example, your video were to go completely on blackout, at least if you've got a great audio quality, people can still listen in. And so that is some of the stuff that I'll be educating people more on on my YouTube channel. Um, What was quite, I was just going to say, what was quite interesting is I only yesterday covered a video on the importance of audio so you've absolutely just Mm. you know okay confirmed to me that you know it is absolutely right and what i was teaching was that the audio is you know it's practically 70 percent of a product and you're right if you have a blackout on screen you can still be heard we all listen to podcasts and the great thing is we're in this world now where we we can repurpose our content you Mm -hmm. can literally if you're doing a podcast or any kind of content that is giving value you can strip the audio and make a podcast from it Mm-hmm. two pieces of audio uh, two pieces Absolutely of content right. in one go now the next thing that is important however and this is where the um this is where it's he gets the men get separated from the boy so to speak it's where you create content with purpose mm-hmm. so when you're creating a video this is where my education will come in my second level up course will be on how to use cinemaker and then market your videos or optimize your videos for maximum viewer engagement 
because mm-hmm. you really want people to stick around and watch your videos. You want people to be entertained. You want people to engage with your content. You want people to be inspired by your content. And you want people to take action with your content. Every single video that you create needs to have a purpose. And when you write a script or when you have a format, you need mm-hmm. to do it with purpose so that people can, if they're going to be coming back, they'll know what to expect, just like you're doing your show. Every time people come back, they know what format is going to follow. And then, you know, you keep it to a specific timelet, if you will. And then people are going to be, um, you you want to surprise them and and through the entertainment aspect, but you still want to keep things consistent, just like you would on the nightly news. I always go back to the nightly news. What's, what's, what's about, what about the nightly news? That scared me that, that went off very loud. Nightly news keeps you consistent. You know that at seven o'clock on the dot, the nightly news is coming on for 20 minutes. You're stuck on watching them or listening to them for 20 minutes. Yeah. So that is really, um, I think that kind of encompasses everything that I want to talk about. Uh, and do you know what? That alarm just scared me. Do you, did you even hear the alarm? Because no, I, I, I actually jumped. <laughs> I absolutely I jumped. hear myself think even. <laughs> Well, there you go. That that's your timer. It's done. How did you find it? Your second. I appearance. think it's fun. I mean, I could talk for England. I know you could. That's why I'm going to get you back I, for a third time. <laughs> but I not. Think, but... What's important is um, you need to be passionate about what you're doing, and I'm very passionate about video and video marketing. And regardless of the type of content that your viewers uh, or you create, it has to be something that mm-hmm. uh, expresses your your inner sense of creativity. And that, in my opinion, is one of the most um, cathartic and um, feel-good factors about, you know, when you get on video. It's got to be about something that you really enjoy. Oh, 100%. 100%. And I think over the last two episodes, I think anybody watching this will realize there's a lot of value Mm -hmm. in these two episodes. So thank you so much. Uh, for coming on to the show I've been really excited to get you on we've Mm -hmm. tried syncing it up a few times um you know but that's what happens when you go international you have to work with different time zones and stuff but you know we we did it and we've done it um thank you so much for coming on I'm pretty sure you know you won't be a stranger in the future you'll be back I'm sure looking forward to it Oh, I am. I'm already counting it down already. Um, If anybody would like to watch any previous episodes, you can head over to youtube.com forward slash take the cake pro. If you'd like to see when I post my latest videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell. Uh, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.